one. How do you respond when people that are against Israel say, what about the displacement of Palestinians by Zionist militias during the period of the Nakba? That already happened before the 1948 war. Yes, but the period of the Nakba was, the initiation of force was again unilateral. It was the Palestinians who initiated force. And in defending themselves, Jews kicked Palestinians off of their land because they were using that land to attack the Jews. It's also true that many, 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 most of the Palestinians who left, left because they, they were afraid, left because Arab countries told them to leave, that in, when they invaded, they will destroy the Jews and bring them all back. But the context of the Nakba is the dedication of the Palestinian people and the Arab world to destroy and murder every single Jew in Palestine. Jews were defending themselves. In the defending themselves, did they kick out some Palestinians? In defending themselves, did they kill some innocents? Yes. Blood is on those who initiated force. The blood is on the Palestinians. The blood is on the Arab countries. It is their responsibility from beginning to end. It is their responsibility. Again, if you're defending yourself, somebody's coming at you with a gun and shooting at you, what are you supposed to do? Just say, whoops, I, 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 I don't want to hurt their property rights. I don't want to kick them off their land. You know, I don't want to hurt them in any way. I mean, you have to really lack self-esteem. You have to really lack any kind of valuing of your own life to have that kind of perspective on self-defense. I'm going to care more about my enemy than myself. I need to care about the whole, more about his rights than me, more about his children than mine. And you can say I'm, I'm biased, but show me the history book that suggests otherwise. I, I, I'll take you on in the history. I mean, this is the thing. 99% of these libertarians know nothing about the history. I, I'll take you back to the late 19th century when Jews came to Palestine and bought land. I'll take you back to the first Arab riots against Jews. I think it was 1917, and then 1920-something, and then 1938, and then, 19, and then 1947, a partition plan. Two states, a two-state solution. You'd think the Palestinians would jump on the opportunity. Israelis dance in the street the night the UN votes on a two-state solution. The next day, the Palestinians start shooting. They, they, they reject the two-state solution completely. And what is their solution? Violence. Violence, violence, violence. It's all their leadership has ever known. It's all their leadership has ever advocated for. And to respond to their violence with, eh. I'll just give them what they want. I'll, I'll just pretend.